I was, had just left one job at the House of Representatives that had become counsel to Tom Foley, who was then the speaker, a uh, great friend of Japan. And uh, it's through Tom that I was introduced to Tadashi. And it became very clear to me immediately that as far as anything Japanese was concerned, the Tadashi was the authority. I should ask him. And, uh, and I did. I became enormously impressed by JCIE before I ever met anyone other than Tadashi. And they are both efficient and effective. And uh, the organization itself is, is unusual and I think extraordinary in the sense that it is an important part of civil society in Japan. It has been for a long time. And, um, and it's thus been a huge contributor, not just to the kinds of, of issues that it's addressed for the Japanese audience, but for a much wider one. The JCI has been running a parliamentary exchange for years with the United States. That's become a very important uh, element of, of bilateral relations and understanding. And through it, I mean, through that dialogue, understanding of any number of other issues. Um, I, I was aware of that when I worked for Tom years ago. It's still going on and still important. JCIE has been an important part of civil society in, in Japan for years. And, it, and one of the things that you are sometimes struck by is the one, if you look at, uh, well, here in Paris or in the UK or in the US, there's a multiplicity of, of agencies and, and, and various other kinds of entities that, that do research and that, that are always putting out policy papers. Not as many in Japan, but JCI, that has made JCI a genuine leader and it's valued. And I think it's got to continue its, uh, its journey because it's important to all of us.